<clears throat> Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, today, our country is facing one of the most significant economic crises in its post-war history, one that is having a profound effect on foundations and NGOs responsible for providing a safety net to those with the least wealth and opportunity. Hundreds of families have lost their homes and employment is rising to levels not seen in the last decades. And non-profit providers are seeing a dramatic jump in the demand for food, shelter, medical care, and other services. The statistics of hardship are devastating. Greek, uh, Greek GDP contracted from 2009 to 2012 by almost 20%. Unemployment during the first trimester of 2012 reached 22.6% from 15, 1509 at the respective trimester of 2011. In the first trimester of this year, the total number of unemployed persons reached a million, a hundred and twenty thousand, an increase of 57.3% from the respective trimester of 2011. Between the years 2009 and 2011, the number of homeless people increased by 25%. The total number is estimated to be 20,000 individuals. It is estimated that 12% of the population is deprived of basic goods and services such as regular meals with meat and vegetables, heating, and the ability to pay bills for public services. These needs are reflected in the daily demand for food and soup kitchen services, which increased in 2011 by 35 to 40 percent and in certain areas of southern Attica by 100 percent. In Thessaloniki we have had an increase of about 85 percent. About 400,000 persons in Athens and Thessaloniki visit a soup kitchen daily. Families who lost their rights to social security because of layoffs are estimated to 500,000. This has resulted in an increase in the number of children queuing for vaccination on the doorstep of NGOs. Local foundations are encountering difficult challenges as a result of this situation. Their assets have uh, plunged by more than 35% and their income has been reduced almost 40 cent, by 40%. The economy is also rapidly eroding the resources of, for non-profit providers. With foundations assets evaporating, with government taxing foundations and slashing non-profit non grants, with corporate profits stumbling, and individuals suffering financially, the amount of money going to nonprofits has nosedived at a moment when demand for their services is skyrocketing. Till now, we have, we have had a paternalistic welfare state, which funded, to a major extent, needs in social welfare, health, medicine, education, etc while the foundations used their resources to complement the needs of society. Now that the state has gone bust, the foundations are being asked to meet mounting demands for support that previously were covered by the state. Under these circumstances, each foundation has an obligation to consider how to respond to the crisis looking first to its underlying mission in order to determine what action it should take. My feeling, dear colleagues, is that uh, by telling you what the Bodosaki Foundation has been doing 
in addressing the challenges at the present crisis in Greece, I summarize best what most of you have expressed and most of you expect that it should be done by a medium-sized foundation with limited resources. The Bodosaki Foundation, a 40-year-old foundation, undertook its own soul-searching in trying to assess the situation. So far, education, healthcare, and environmental protection have been its three primary objectives. However, we have concluded that supporting scholarly and scientific excellence and trying to improve the quality of medical care is not enough at a time when a profound existential crisis is engulfing the country. The crisis has created a whole set of new social problems, unknown even a little while ago, that needs to be immediately addressed. At the same time, we are faced with other fundamental issues affecting the future of our country and society, such as the extreme lack of competitiveness and the very weak civil society with a low stock of social capital and trust. After careful consideration, our foundation has decided to continue supporting efforts in the, in the areas of education, health and social, <coughs> excuse me, health and social welfare, but also to place particular emphasis on supporting urgent action for the needy, using a great part of our available reserves Center stage of these initiatives is the support of soup, soup kitchen services, the food bank, NGOs caring for children, an extensive program of child vaccination, the support of NGOs offering crucial social, social services which are on the point of closing down because of the crisis. The biggest, the biggest problem of the country, next to the political problem, is the lack of competitiveness, which is the main cause for the creation of the huge public debt. We believe that unless we manage to mobilize the pioneering energies of the nation and increase our productivity capacities, we have no hope of emerging from the crisis. The quality that can do most to increase productivity and bring development is innovation. In Greece, the state neither invests in innovation nor does it give it effective encouragement. Consequently, society has to make determined efforts to support new initiatives and ideas gestated by talented young people whose developmental vision will create a new dynamic business horizon. What we are striving for is the creation of a fund which will support creative clusters of relevant knowledge and promote new ventures which are export-oriented and designed to stimulate innovative activity. This project will require collaboration and partnership with other foundations and eventually with public bodies. Another critical issue affecting Greece's long road to maturity is the development and strengthening of its weak civil society. The state, the political parties, the church and the family remain the strongest institutions within Greek society. The majority <coughs> of Greeks do not participate in non-partisan political activities, nor do they engage in any voluntary work with the exception of the Olympic Games. We thus consider it important to embark on an effort to develop the civic sector and foster the strengthening of NGOs that could promote values such as democracy, social justice, public transparency, tolerance and sustainable development, which would probe up the country's course to maturity and Europeanization. 
The implementation of the project for the development of Greek civil society will be carried out in partnership with two other Greek foundations and it is hoped that it will be funded by European sources. The response of our foundation to the challenges presented by the economic crisis and the setting of new goals <coughs> has required not simply a rearrangement of priorities, but a complete rethink of the structures we have had in the past and the reappraisal of our operational philosophy. We have had to find new means for financing these projects and to, ad to adapt ways of achieving greater over overall impact and effectiveness. Fundraising, restructuring, capacity building, and finally partnering and teaming up, which were unfamiliar terms in our lexicon till a while ago, have now become the verbal currency of our everyday life. Traditionally, our foundation has been a funding organization, but not anymore. The new landscape created by the crisis has added new projects and activities to our agenda, and this has happened while the value of our assets has gone down and our income has been reduced by more than 20%. Therefore, we have, we have had to resort to, out, to outside sources of funding in order to finance our programs. European Union and EFTA programs, international foundations and wealthy individuals are being approached as potential donors. The fact that our foundation is committed to transparency and accountability that uses principles of good practice at its daily routine and is a trusted organization fortunately makes our fundraising effort easier. Another effect generated by the new initiatives is the need to restructure our organization so as to respond to the new tasks to be undertaken. The charter of our organization has been overhauled and new positions of responsibility created. An important facet of the new situation is the hiring and training of the necessary personnel capable of handling the new project and activities. We, have, we hope that an interactive electronic platform, which will shortly be running, will prove a useful tool in building our capacity by linking demand with the supply of trained personnel. Partnership and teaming up were rare, if not alien terms, for our foundation in the past. But in the present circumstances, partnership has become imperative in order to maximize, to maximize impact and because joining forces with other foundations when applying for international funding is essential. Dear friends, what I have uh, been trying to tell you is that our country and our people are facing extraordinary and grave circumstances. And these circumstances should be addressed with extraordinary initiatives. We have to go off the beaten track and forget established habits, me methods, and structures. If we have to, to show solidarity, we must act with resolve and sensitivity. We must prove that we feel the pain and we are there to soothe it. Thank you.